the state of the state. He's done it throughout the election. Um, he's he's continually been fully in support of our issues, and we're thrilled with his commitment and support. Did he give you a reason, Ross, why he wasn't coming? No, we didn't ask for a reason. We're thrilled that the lieutenant governor is here as a long, outspoken supporter of our issues and here representing the administration. But he made such a big deal about going to travel. The lieutenant governor spent most of his speech saying, trying to reiterate that the governor's in favor of this. I mean, do you think he sounded a little too defensive during that address? No, I don't think, I don't think anyone could doubt uh, the governor's support of these issues. It was one of the only social issues he mentioned in the state of the state. He's literally going around the state, and this is one of only three issues he's talking about. We're thrilled with the support for marriage equality and an LGBT equality why, and justice. When would he why release the, the bill? Biggest, why would he miss the biggest rally? So far, we are thrilled that he of his support. Um, he, he is going out and speaking to the people of New York all across the state in parts of the state where the support is not as strong. That's actually where we need him, and we're thrilled that he's out there putting the power of his office uh, in support of this issue. Ross, when will the governor uh, release the bill? Uh, we are only focused on getting victory this year. Um, we all know the mechanics of Albany. Um, I don't think it's ever going to stop uh, if there's the will to get this bill done. So um, we're excited. How many votes do you have in the Senate right now? Uh, right now, um, we know that we're two better than we were the last time the vote happened. We know that there are four legislators that have moved from opposition uh, to being uncommitted, and we think that's a very strong position to go in, particularly when 58 percent of New Yorkers are solidly on our side. Um, you know, in years past, this has been a much smaller rally. Uh, what, what has changed over time at these rallies this day? What's changed is that the people of New York are solidly with us, and the LGBT community and our allies can feel that momentum. When 58% of New Yorkers are on our side, uh, it's not hard for New Yorkers to get up at 4 in the morning in Buffalo to get on a bus to come here, and from Long Island and Syracuse. The energy in our community is palpable uh, because we can feel victory. 1,100 people. Senator Diaz says he's going to have 25,000 rallying against the bill uh, next weekend. Does that concern you at all? No, we were thrilled to have 700 uh, faith leaders and clergy uh, be in Albany just this week uh, and talk about their full support for marriage equality. Uh, there is no one faith voice on marriage equality as much as Senator Diaz may have tried to make it, uh, try to characterize it.